Now let me just start this off by saying I had a lot of fun making my video on the Rochester Raging Rhinos US Open Cup run. I know that was a couple videos back, but seeing the responses on Reddit and on Twitter, it just confirmed my beliefs that this is a passionate fan base still, and they can absolutely get back to being a successful team in USL League One next season. I wanted to make sure I gave them a shout out before I started this video. However, I didn't get to say everything I wanted to about the US Open Cup in that video. So now it's time for me to rant. Now just realize I'm only saying this all because I really do love this tournament. And I just wanna see it get bigger and better. Okay, first things first, I think this tournament is seriously underrated among both MLS fans and MLS teams. Just not enough people talk about this tournament. Now, me trying to sit here and lecture fans on what to watch and what to take seriously, I mean, it's probably not gonna go great for me. It's probably not gonna bode well for me. So I'm not gonna do that. I think what I need to do instead is figure out why there aren't more fans engaged with this tournament. And in my opinion, I think more fans would be interested in this tournament if MLS seemed more interested in this tournament. I think fans would be more invested if MLS just simply marketed this tournament a little bit better. I mean, seriously, for some teams, it seems like a complete afterthought. Like, there might be a social media post the day of a game, but it is really minimal for a lot of teams. And like, I don't know why, because it's a tournament, it's a chance to win a trophy, and it's the easiest path to the CONCACAF Champions League. It's also a chance to play teams you've never seen before. Like, I don't know. It seems kind of interesting to me. It's like not even MLSsoccer.com says anything about the US Open Cup. Like, I, I think they normally do a great job on their articles and their video content, but it's like they'll talk about the draw, they'll you know preview the matches and recap the matches, but really, that's it. I mean, I would love to see some more video content about the opposing teams. I would love to watch a video on the Florida soccer soldiers and see where they came from, but you just don't really get that. Unless you're a heavily invested fan in MLS or the US Open Cup, there's a good chance you're gonna miss the matches. And not just like not watch the matches, but not even know they're on until it's too late. Which leads to my next issue. Okay, I get prioritizing MLS Cup and the Supporter Shield. Both of those are bigger deals than the US Open Cup, but what? What? If you're just gonna trot out a reserve team, then why do you even bother entering the tournament? I mean, no offense to those players, like seriously, those guys have accomplished way more than I ever have. And I get wanting to give some new guys a chance at the first team, but when it's like the whole team, I mean, how are the fans supposed to take this seriously? Now, I should note that I find that it's mostly the same teams that do this year after year. So you can kind of tell what teams are taking this tournament seriously versus what teams aren't. And it's gotten to a point where it doesn't really surprise me anymore. Who does and who doesn't? So, yeah, I wish MLS teams would take this tournament more seriously. And maybe they would if the prize money was a little bit more significant. I, I think it's at like $300,000 for first place, which would be a nice payday if, you know, you're a lower division team that makes a Cinderella run. But for an MLS team, like $300,000, that's, that's kind of a joke. But that's not my main issue with the US Open Cup. No, my main issue has to deal with the scheduling. Now, if you turn on some of the streams to these US Open Cup games, I mean, for the lower division teams, the fans do a pretty good job of showing up in numbers, especially if it's against MLS teams, because, you know, the chance to take on a top division side, that's a pretty good draw for people. And the US Open Cup, it's a bigger deal to these lower division fans to most MLS fans. Now, Taylor Twelman brought up this idea. He said that all lower division teams should host up until the quarterfinals. And I completely agree. I think that's a great idea because it is 
so depressing turning on a stream and seeing a completely empty soccer specific stadium like less than 500 people there when you know that if this game was played at the lower division team that there'd be way more fans there i think one of the goals for this tournament for the u.s open cup should be to promote the game at the lower levels especially if some of these mls teams aren't even taking this tournament seriously if they're playing the reserves no let the lower division teams host. Also, I wish when MLS teams did host, they would consider playing in alternate venues more often. I mean, the New England Revolution do this. I know they played Open Cup games at Harvard University in Boston. I know they've played uh, Open Cup games in Rhode Island. This is really cool because a lot of Revolution fans just can't simply make the trip to Foxborough, and this gives them an opportunity to see their team. I wish my Chicago Fire would do this, honestly, because it's like they play their Open Cup games at Seat Geek Stadium, which they already have a hard enough time to fill up for regular season games. So for Open Cup games, I mean, that stadium is empty. I would love to be able to see them play at North Central in Naperville. They played a season there in MLS. I think it would be awesome to see them go back. I mean, the chance for more reach, that's a good thing. And MLS teams should strive for that. Now moving on, can someone please explain to me why in round four, you know, the round where MLS teams enter, why there are only 11 lower division teams left? Yeah, round four, 32 teams left, 21 of them are MLS. That means five of the matchups are all MLS. That kind of sucks. Personally, I think every MLS team should have to open up the US Open Cup with a lower division team. Firstly, and least importantly, certain MLS teams have a complete advantage in the bracket when their side has more lower division teams and less MLS teams. But secondly, and in my opinion more importantly, it's because MLS versus lower division is more interesting. Give the lower division teams a chance to see where they stack up against MLS sides. Now, I don't know if that means that some MLS teams have to enter into round three or if you have to add an extra round into the tournament. So that means round four is 64 teams instead of 32 teams. I don't know, just a US soccer, please figure it out. But my biggest beef with the US Open Cup is the stupid regional format it runs. Now, I don't know if this is the exact catalyst as to why US Soccer made this change to a regional format in the Open Cup, but I do know that in 2014, LA Galaxy head coach Bruce Arena threw a hissy fit because his team had to travel to North Carolina uh, for an Open Cup game midweek, and he had games on Saturday before and the Saturday afterwards. Now, he didn't even go to this game. No, he sent his assistant out and a couple reserves, and the Galaxy were beat by the Railhawks. This was actually the second time they had to travel to North Carolina for an Open Cup game. And he and other MLS coaches complained about this. And, I mean, dude, I get it. The scheduling sucks. <laughs> but it's like, come on, man. Get over it. Now, for USL2 teams and, you know, PDL, MPSL, all the amateur sides, like, I get having all the games locally. Because most of these players, they all have second jobs. And... They don't have the luxury of being able to fly everywhere. I get not wanting to have an MPSL team fly from Florida to California for a round one U.S. Open Cup game. Cool, I get that. But by round four, when most of those lower amateur teams are out of the tournament and when MLS teams entered, there shouldn't be any more regional formats. Have it all done by a blind draw. Here's why I hate the regional format, because... You have situations where the same teams play the same opponents every year. Sporting Kansas City and the Houston Dynamo have met in the last four U.S. Open Cup games, and it's always been in either the round of 16 or the quarterfinal because of the regional pairings. And because of the regions, the final is always going to be contested between a Eastern Conference team and a Western Conference team. So great! The same thing as MLS Cup. I mean, can you imagine how sick a final would be between like at oh. I mean, can you imagine how sick a final would be between like Atlanta and Orlando City or Seattle and Portland or 
El Trafico or Hudson River Derby. But we'll never get that. Because of the regional format, the best we can hope for is those two teams meeting up in the quarterfinals. And because of the regional format, we'll never get these regional rivalries in the semifinals or finals. And that is so lame. Last season, Red Bull New York and New York City faced off in the fourth round. And I'm not even a supporter of either New York teams, but the Hudson River Derby is one of the most entertaining rivalries in all of MLS. But this... There was no buzz surrounding this game, and I hate using that word, but I'm going to use it. There was no buzz, no hype, because both teams had lineups of half reserves, and there was less than 10,000 fans in attendance. I didn't hear the obnoxious, like, New York is red or New York is blue. There was nothing, because it was just a round four matchup of the U.S. Open Cup. Honestly, part of it is that teams just don't take this tournament seriously until at least the quarterfinals or semifinals. And the other part of it is fans are going to get more excited for later rounds of the tournament. Like round four, it's just round four. It's not that exciting yet. And yeah, I get it. Traveling midweek for a U.S. Open Cup game, that sucks. But Get over it. I know I've already said that, but get over it. Like, have you ever seen NBA or NHL team schedules? Like, those kind of suck too. Have you ever seen English League One or League Two schedules? I mean, those teams play 46 games in a season, plus tournament games, plus possibly promotion playoff games, and they make it work. Now, it'd be a lot easier if MLS would just allow more charter flights, but even still, I feel like people teams would complain about these games oh and the final should absolutely be played on a saturday or sunday night like i get it you have to fight with the tv networks with nfl and college football but you cannot convince me that you can't move around some mls games and have a final not be played on a weekend night game you cannot convince me of that so to summarize how to make the u.s open cup better one MLS teams have to take this tournament more seriously. And realistically, they're probably not going to listen to a guy on YouTube, so I'm not holding my breath on that one. Two, have lower division teams host every game until at least the quarterfinals. Three, get rid of the f***ing stupid regional format. Four, play the final on a weekend. That's it. That's all I got. I will say them moving all the games to ESPN+, Plus, including round one, was awesome like fantastic job u.s soccer because trying to watch the games on certain team websites those streams like it wouldn't even be zoomed in properly like it wouldn't even be focused properly like espn plus is a massive step up to the old stream so well done u.s soccer seriously now what do you think anything i missed Anything I say sound really stupid? I would love to hear what you have to think.